Investment properties can be great vehicles for building wealth, but they can also cost you a lot, particularly in the beginning. Luckily, one of the many benefits of being a property investor is having access to various tax advantages that will almost certainly reduce your taxable income and boost your bottom line. For those who own a rental property, you'll want to start pulling together the details of your rental property expenses now in preparation for lodging your tax return. And for those who are looking to get their foot in the investment property door, claiming deductions should be a huge consideration in your investment strategy. You can save a lot of money by maximizing your tax deductions, but it is essential you have all the details at hand and fully understand what you can claim and what you can't. So here is a list of the top 17 tax deductions you can claim. To make it a bit easy to navigate, I'm going to divide them into two categories, immediately deductible expenses and expenses that can be claimed over several years. Let's start with the ones you can claim immediately. First, we have property management expenses. These include advertising for tenants, body corporate fees, strata title fees, and charges if applicable, cleaning and gardening, pest control, and security patrol fees. Next up are your rates and taxes. This includes council rates, which are expenses that cover the cost of rubbish collection and maintenance on your street on which your property is located. And if you're the one responsible for paying for the water, electricity and gas, you can claim these as tax deductible expenses. Of course, if the tenant pays them, then this deduction won't apply to you. You can also claim land tax as a tax deduction. Then there's property agent fees. If you choose to appoint a property agent to manage the property and maintain a good relationship with your tenant, then you'll likely pay them a fee between six and 8% of the rental rate. Thankfully, you can claim a deduction for that expense too. The fourth set of expenses relates to the administration of your property. If any of these expenses relate to the management of your investment property, they'll be tax deductible. These include stationery, phone, internet usage fees, postage fees, and other documents that relate to property management, as well as legal expenses relating to debt collection or tenant problems. Next up is property insurance. This is a no-brainer expense, so it's helpful that it's also on the list of tax deductions you can claim. You can also claim expenses related to tax advice and quantity of surveyor fees. For example, if you want to get your hands on a tax depreciation schedule or go to a property investment seminar after you've bought your property, these are also tax deductible expenses. The seventh set of expenses is for repairs and maintenance. You have to be careful with this group of expenses though, because the ATO wants to make sure you are not claiming expenses that are improving your property. For example, fixing broken glass on a window is considered a repair, but replacing the whole window frame is an improvement. To be clear, you can only claim expenses for work done that maintains it. This could be plumbing, electrical, or handyman fees. It's probably also worth mentioning that any repairs or maintenance expenses incurred directly after purchasing the property to make it suitable for rental purposes are considered to be of capital nature. In other words, these are costs that form part of the cost base of the property and will help when you come to reducing your capital gains tax if you eventually sell the property. The last expense in this category is interest on your home loan. If you had to take out a loan from the bank to purchase your investment property, you are entitled to claim any interest charged on the loan as a rental property deduction. This is the most significant investment property tax deduction you can claim. But you should know that interest expenses due to withdrawal from an offset account attached to the loan don't always form part of the investment property tax deductions you can claim. So it's worth confirming this with your tax agent. The next expense you can claim is not an immediate deduction, but rather something you can claim over several years. Any general wear and tear, otherwise known as depreciation of your investment property, can be claimed as a non-cash investment property tax deduction. This means that the wear and tear can be claimed over time and offset against your income. You can claim depreciation on two types of expenses, plant and equipment assets and capital works. I've done a separate video on this, so make sure you check that out. Remember, you can't claim on any of the listed expenses as investment property tax deductions without proof. Make sure you always keep receipts, invoices, and other documents relating to the expenditure of your income generating investment property. In terms of expenses that you can't claim, these would be things like expenses incurred through the personal use of your investment property, the repayments of the principal sum borrowed to purchase the investment property, solicitor and conveyance of fees for the purchase or sale of the property, 
other expenses incurred during the purchase or sale of an investment property, and stamp duty fees charged on the transfer of property into your name. It's super important to start getting organized well before you lodge your return, so you have plenty of time to gather all your expenses. You may even want to find an accountant who specializes in property investment. That way you can be sure you won't miss out on claiming legitimate expenses or accidentally claim expenses that aren't allowed. Anyway, that's all for me on this topic. I hope you found this useful, but if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out. As an avid investor myself, my goal has always been to help others get their foot in the property door. Otherwise, remember to like, subscribe for more videos like this. I'm Steve Polisi, author of Residential and Commercial Property Investing Explained Simply. Thanks for listening.